that heart. She brought me some crab, like some real crabs. To your heart without breaking your skin. No one has the power to hurt you like your kin. Kept it inside, didn't tell no one else. Didn't even want to admit it to yourself. And now your chest burns and your back aches from 15 years of holding the pain. Hi guys, long time no speak. Um, so yeah, yesterday that happened. <laughs> I felt like I kind of had a little Britney moment with my hair. Oh well, it's just hair, okay. All right. I feel like at the end of the day, I had like a little like, I was, I would call it an angel. I had an angel on my shoulder and she was just like, girl, cut it, cut it, cut it. So I cut it and I don't care. I feel happy. I feel lighter. I feel refreshed. I feel like I am about to jump into a new start with my hair care journey and I'm excited to take y'all along with me. So make sure that you stay tuned. Um... Speaking about hair, I'm currently sitting outside of Ulta. I'm really here for skincare products, but I'm about to see what kind of stuff they got for hair. If the price looks good and I like the brand, then I'm going to go ahead and put it in my basket. If not, I'm going to stop by my beauty supply store because I need a gel and a good detangler or like a defining gel. So we're going to see what they got. And then I'm also going to take y'all along with me to Trader Joe's. I have been obsessed with... um. I hope my camera ain't cricket right now, but I've been obsessed with juicing, and I recently just ran out of my juices, so I'm about to go get some fruits and veggies so um, I can make my juices because I got to re-up, but I'm so excited to be talking back to the camera and vlogging. I feel like it's been so long. I ain't even going to give you a whack-ass excuse of why I've been gone. Um, what I did try to do was vlog when I went to New York. I recently went to brooklyn wasn't we in brooklyn to celebrate my bestie's birthday um i'm gonna insert the footage i want to welcome you guys to the 48 hours in new york vlog ah the big apple i'm super excited i've been here a couple of times but this time is gonna be different okay because i will be celebrating my best friend's birthday she's turning 26 so let's just get right into the prep okay as you can see we're in my bedroom i'm about to try on some outfits for you guys because i picked up some things from zara and i want to make sure that they fit right before i pack my bag okay guys please do not mind the mess over here but here's the first outfit okay you can't even see my shoes but honest to god my feet aren't done right now so that's probably a good thing um <laughs> I just feel like this is going to look so cute when I have everything put together. But basically, can y'all see me? You can't see the shoes, so I'm going to lift my leg up for you. But this is the first outfit. This is going to be my brunch fit, okay? So basically, why I keep saying basically? So this top is from Zara. Super cute tassels. I'm going to be mixing metals with this outfit because the details in my bag are gold. I'm going to show you the shoes up, up close. The details in the shoe is gold. So, we got to go with gold jewelry, even though the tassels are like silver diamond, diamonds or whatever. But, yeah, super cute. It's basically a white beater that's cut to fit your boobs with tassels. These pants are also from, uh, these pants are also from Zara. And just to top it off, just to top it off, we're going to put on... A pink blazer okay this is essential honey because it's actually terrible weather going on right now and this weather gonna be all throughout the weekend and I'm going to New York I'm gonna be cold okay um it's definitely a difference between 
Virginia weather, the DC area, and New York, okay? It's like a 10 degree difference. So this is gonna be my brunch fit for Saturday. Super cute, obsessed, obsessed. Do you see, do you see the vibes? So anyways, next up we have one of my dinner outfits. Now this looks real simple until you get down to the shoes. I feel like the shoes are the statement piece. Um, and I just feel super different in this outfit because I don't ever wear these little like mesh type of tights or whatever. So the shoes are from Zara. Love these. Um, don't remember how much they cost. If you have bony ankles like me, they're definitely going to flop off your heel when you walk. And that's so irritating. But it's for the look, okay? It's for the look. The tights are from Target. The skirt is from Zara. And if you look at the back, it's actually a squirt. The top is also from Zara, obviously. And this jacket is from Zara. Obviously, Zara is my favorite sort of shopping. Um, this is a bodysuit. Um, and this is like a leather with fur. I'm gonna be wearing this at night time, so I have to be warm. I'm really nervous about how I'm gonna fit all this in my luggage, so we will see because I'm not trying to take multiple bags. Okay, you guys, so I'm all packed up. I tried my hardest to keep it at one bag, but baby, I just couldn't. So I have a duffel with me, and the only reason why, like, it's because of the coats, like them big jackets. So, I also have this bag, but let's keep it a buck. If you know me, you know I overpack for everything, so I'm not even surprised. But I got everything ready to go. I'm super excited. And I even had a little bit of time over, you know, left over to um clean my house up. And, you know, when you come home from a trip to a clean house, it just makes all the difference. So, yeah. So, yeah, girl, it didn't go as planned. All I did was film me packing and putting on outfits. And then it was just crazy being on the road for that long with all the traffic. The rain was horrible. Girl, they had me on a train. But we made the most of it. It was still fun. It was definitely an experience. But, unfortunately, I didn't vlog. But it's okay because I'm back at it. With my little puff. Oh, my God. My puff is so tiny. What? Are you kidding me? It's so little. Y'all, last week was um Mother's Day. And I took my mom out to dinner. I got her some, some gifts and whatnot. And uh, we were sitting in front of each other at the table. And I'm like, you ain't even notice I come in here, did you? She like, how short you cut it? I said, girl, all my hair is this length. Because I had, I had my hair just like this. Um... I said, all my hair is this length. She said, I thought you had your hair in a bun. Tara, why'd you cut it? She was the first person I told. I'm like, girl, because it just had to go. I had to give it a dead end. But I'm rambling. So let's go ahead and go into the store. I'm going to vlog on my phone because sometimes these stores be acting janky. And we're going to see what products we pick, okay? Okay, y'all, so just went to Ulta and TJ's, as you can see. Every single time I say TJ's, my man be thinking I'm talking about TJ Maxx. No, baby, I'm talking about Trader Joe's, okay? So I feel like I got more than what I was supposed to. But real quick, we are going to do a haul. I need to hurry up and go home because the allergies, the allergies are kicking my butt right now. Why are everybody going to pull up next to me right now? Y'all see that? Why everybody won't pull up next to me? But anyways, I'm trying out some new skincare. So I picked up the, how do you say this? La Roche Pousse? That's what it looked like. I know that's not how you really pronounce it. I know. So don't do too much on me. But this is their um, hydrating gentle cleanser. I picked this up as well as their um, double repair face moisturizer. Okay. I'm about to run out of the products that I have right now, so I was like, might as well try something new, and I'm super excited. I've heard great things. TikTok is so influencing, like, honest to God. Also, I wanted to try this with So Stinking Long, the Good Molecules, their um, discoloration serum. 
I'm too geeked to try this. Like, this is the one thing that I'm... This is probably the thing that I'm most excited to try. Yo, I can't get over my little puff. Let me fluff it out because I've been sitting in this chair and it's probably looking flat okay so basically that's everything that i got for skincare i don't want to like introduce my face to too many things i want so moving on to hair care um i'm gonna try out this detangler this was literally the only detangler spray i saw in the store make it make sense and it was like 18 dollars or something like that so it better be good but this is the brand um because i'm not playing when it comes to my curls this time around okay i'm gonna take such good care of my hair y'all i promise to god i got some eco just because i know i can rely on it i wanted a gel um that i could trust those other ones i wasn't sure if it was gonna flake or not and this was like my old holy girl i used to always use this like and then I just got some hairbands because I realized the other ones that I have, it's not a metal part on it, but it is a little thick part that sometimes used to snag my hair up. So this one has absolutely nothing on it but a band and a super stretchy. Um, and they're smaller because my hair is so small now. Like my little ponytail is so little. So, yep. Um, those couple of products total up to $87.72. And I just spent $70 in TJ's. Um, I also picked up some rosemary, like the actual real rosemary, like leaves and whatnot, whatever you want to call it, the herb from Trader Joe's. I'm going to go home and I'm make my own rosemary um, water so I can spray my scalp, get the scalp stimulated so we can grow our hair back to fuck shoulder length. I'm trying to get the ass length, okay? So, yeah, I will... I'm about to head on home. It's about to rain. Um, I'm going to give you guys a full Trader Joe's haul when I get in the house. And we're going to make my celery juice because that is the only reason why my skin is like... It's flourishing. I'm going to say it's flourishing. Yeah, that's the only reason why my skin is flourishing right now. It's because of my celery juice. Shots that I take every morning. So, yeah. I'll see you at home, girl. So we're back home and I just had the cutest interaction with this lady in the elevator. So um, she was holding the door and I was getting on. And as soon as I got on, I saw her shoes. She saw my shoes. And we both was like, I love your shoes at the same exact time. Like the same time, like knock on wood, bitch, jinx type shit. It was so cute. We get to laughing and giggling, kiki ki. And I was like, well, thank you. She was like, no, thank you. Where'd you get yours from? Go. And I was like, girl, I don't know. My man got them for me. Where'd you get yours? And she was like, I don't know. And I was like... They look good on you, sis. She's like, thank you. And yeah, I just thought that was just like so cute and wholesome. And y'all, when I say I don't know nobody that live in my building, like I have no friends around here. Like she looked like she was just getting off of work because it's like four o'clock. And I hope she live here so I can run into her again because I need some best friends. I mean, I need some new friends. And we already, you know, vibing. So mine is real. It was like so in sync how we said it at the same time. But anyways let's get into our trader joe's haul y'all know i'm a big foodie okay so first off everything came up to 71.79 which is pretty good considering i got a lot of stuff so i'm trying out this sliced french brioche bread i hope that's how you say it i think that's how you say it it's so thick i just know um excuse my work computer i just know uh, French toast is gonna taste so good with this bread. So I'm excited. My other favorite bread is the the how you say this artisanal bread. I get this from Safeway. Obviously, I'm running out, so that's why I got that. Love that bread. That bread is really good too. I'm trying this ramen just because I was craving noodles the other day, and I didn't feel like going to another store. So I picked up some ramen. That's the first. This this is my first time trying their ramen, and of course, I love brown eggs. I don't know why. <laughs> I just love brown eggs. I don't know. I don't not eat white eggs no more. Like they give me the ick. I don't know. So I'm trying out this almond butter granola. I'm super excited. In the morning, I either eat uh, saibo or some granola with my yogurt and my fruits and stuff which is why i picked up some strawberries show you those got the best strawberries they taste so sweet and they're only like 349 you cannot beat that and they are huge like do you see the size of the strawberry get into a sister get into it this is my favorite greek yogurt the vanilla one i love this so much to the point where i had to get to like this is so good and i don't know if y'all follow me 
But girl, you should, cause I be giving y'all the little recipes on TikTok, and I do it on my YouTube shorts as well. I made this yogurt bar. You spread out your yogurt, you put your fruits, your granola, some honey. Girl, pop it in the freezer the next morning, cut it up. It's so good, and like it's already done for you. And sometimes I put like multiple pieces of my yogurt bar in a bowl, and I eat it like it's a pre-made. Like parfait, it's so good. Told y'all I was gonna make some rosemary water for my hair because I'm not playing with the growth. So I'm gonna steep this. I wanna do it overnight. I should let it sit in the water overnight. So I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna we're gonna see what it's hitting on the next day. Got me some wine. I used to drink Trader Joe's wine 24-7 when I was in school. Back in my college days, my old roommate and best friend. Um, princess put me on to this one. The mango one is so good, but the mango one was out of stock. This is the grapefruit one. So good. And it's cheap. Got me my celery. I'm about to set this aside because we are about to juice this right now. I, I took my last celery shot this morning. And if you see dishes back here, mind your business, okay? Because my mama came over the, today, this morning, and kind of threw me off while I was cooking. So, yeah. Disregard. Got me some avocados because I just ran out last night because I just made me some guacamole last night and it was hitting. I had to re-up on the artichoke and spinach dip from Trader Joe's. Obviously it's from Trader Joe's, girl, everything's from Trader Joe's. But I tried this last time I went and it was so good. Hold on, I pair with these chips. These John's right here, the blue corn tortillas. Yes, ma'am. Um, I wanted to pick up this lasagna because sometimes I don't feel like cooking. So that will be saved for a rainy day. And then I got some organic coconut flakes so I can put on top of my acai bowls because I bought these last time. Hold on. Because I got to put y'all on, okay? So these are like legit acai packets. And then I just got some frozen berries to add to it because I like my, my acai bowls to be really thick and like just plentiful, you know? I also got... Not one, not two, but three bags of carrots because everything I'm about to show you right now goes into my orange juice that I make. Look at me being so healthy. So in addition to the carrots, obviously oranges, a pineapple, these specific apples, okay? These are to die for. Um, I'm also going to do a lemon, a whole lemon, and unfortunately, I could never find the actual ginger, like, the root, and last time I got a ginger and, like, turmeric, uh, lemon shot to pour into it, I forgot this time, dag nabbit, so yeah, no ginger this time, just lemon, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, put everything away, so we can get into making my salary shots. Well, then just stick with the boy. Just stick with the boy. A lot of model bitches check for me. Nigga, don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when Kilo had to spot and just with you. So many hoes had to get up, I said to me. She left her body home and brought her neck to me. I did a walk, do that shit to jet to me. Y'all niggas show price less than my jewelry. One of my arms were particular. Watch so much that a car came with me. Back in the day, I used to walk with no mask on. Shit on my wrist, I would've kept the whole house full. And I went to school high, I ain't go to class though. I was with the OGs, learning about the class though. Got me with a dude's five, I'ma keep my ass, bro. Break yourself, you can spray on the dash, bro. I'm with Sid and Lil Baby, yeah. We got four choppers this school. Right before rapping on God, I was trapping. Just get my Glock and look cool. I got my cake from Osama, been lighting. Look, look at you sign this shit. I'm for a gang, if you use from my chain, and a nigga gon' die in this bitch. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Waggy, y'all nigga doing that big capture. I ain't with the finish shit, close thing, y'all get to a hash shit. Okay, you guys, so you just saw me make my celery juice. Um, This was one bunch, and it made five shots, including this little one that looks... He looks sad. He got melted in my um dishwasher. So these bottles that are on my Amazon storefront link in the description box below, baby. They um they're good for dishwashing, but not dish heating. I like to heat my plate, so if I put them away, um, so they definitely melt in your dishwasher. So don't do don't do that. Don't be like me. But I do this every like five days because you don't want your celery juice or any juice to like sit for too long. So yeah, the only part of the process, like, when it comes to juicing things, is the cleaning part that I don't like. Um, some people keep the, what is it called? Some people keep the pulp. I don't do that. I think it's, like, 
uh, what is it called, biodegradable, and you can like put it in plants, you can use it for other stuff. I don't got time for all that, I'm just gonna toss it, okay? So that's what I do. But yeah, drink one of these every morning on an empty stomach. If you have problems with um, your digestive system, this will flush you out. If you want to improve your gut health, I really suggest that you do this and don't mix it with anything else. A lot of people say, oh, I mix it with lemon and ginger and spinach and kale, all that good stuff. Yeah, a lot of health pages, Google searches, TikTok accounts, everybody say don't mix your celery juice with other things. So I like to do it by itself. So, yeah. And you guys, I'm so excited. Look what my mama got me. Like, what? look what my mama brought to me, y'all. She brought me food. She knows I'm a fatty, so she brought me some mussels. She got a friend who is like a fisherman, so she brought me over some mussels. And y'all know, even though I live in Virginia, baby. I'm still a Southeast hood baby at heart. She brought me some crab, like some real crabs, some some blue crabs. Yes, ma'am. Do you see how big these are? <laughs> I'm so excited. That's why I got my uh, ketchup out. I'm about to make me a little saucy sauce to go with them. This definitely be my dinner. Hello. Cause now that I smell them, I want them. Okay. And then when it comes to the mussels, I'm going to do like a little. Seafood linguine, I think that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Either like linguine or scampi. I got some noodles, I got some lemon, some garlic, some cream, some cheese. I can make my own sauce. My chef's kiss, that sounds so good. So, yeah, y'all. Um, um, so yeah, I'm probably about to wrap up with work. Because y'all know I'm going to work from home, girly. And I'm going to catch back up with y'all whenever it's time to do the next thing. Okay? Hey, y'all. I'm back. It is much later. Just got out the shower. got on my PJs. And it was time to do some skincare. Earlier, I, like, reorganized all my skincare. And now it looks so neat. So clean. So put together. It's so organized. And um, I have everything in this, like, um, Lazy Susan. So I can just spin things around to get whatever i need so it just makes me want to do my skincare even more so first things first of course i'm going to start with cleansers so i'm going to show you guys some cleansers that i've been using in the past that i really really liked um and i will also tell you why i'm going to stop using them so first things first is the cerave um acne foaming cream cream cleanser this is very affordable you can find it anywhere um and CeraVe is like a very trusted brand that's not going to run your pockets. And then another one is the Laneige. This is the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. Face wash or whatever. This is what it looks like. Um, well, I first wanted to try Laneige because I knew that they were a, um, a Korean skincare brand. So with that being said, even though I love these products... I was uneducated and I did not know that foaming cleansers are for oily skin people. I don't have oily skin. If you don't know your, your skin type, wash your face. Don't put nothing on your face, like no product whatsoever, and see if your face starts to produce its own oil. See if your face feels dry and see if your face feels normal. If you get oily, you got oily skin. If your skin is normal, you have normal skin. And if your skin is dry, you have dry skin. I have dry skin, girl. I only like foaming cleansers because I like the way it feels. I like the way it lathers. So this is going to be my last night using my foaming cleanser. Because it's almost gone. It's basically gone now at this point. I like my body wash to lather up like this too. So that's what attracts me to foaming facial cleansers. But I ain't buying them no more because they're not for me. Anyways, first things first, I wash my face very thoroughly. I do this for a good amount of time. So in order to dry my skin, I always usually air dry or I pat with a disposable towel. Because if you use a towel that you use on your body or something that you wash like weekly, that is not good for your skin. So next up is toner. I can't really tell if I like this toner or not, but I bought it, so I'm going to use it. So I just pour the product right onto my skin like that 
and let it absorb that way versus using cotton pads because I think that's just a waste of product. And any product I add to my face, I always pull it down to my neck because I saw that one lady on TikTok who didn't put her skincare products on her neck and in her face she looked really young and her neck looked really old so I do not want to be like her. Super duper excited to try this. This is the Discoloration Correcting Serum from Good Molecules. This is my first time using it. Now I was a little nervous because I, I shook it well also because it says shake well before you use. I was nervous because it looks white and creamy like a retinol but I know that it isn't a retinol because first off it would have said that and for two it says that you can use it at a.m. and p.m. so I'm for sure that it doesn't have retinol in it. This is the first impressions. No smell for real. Love that. I hate things that scent it. Um, it absorbs into the skin very easily. That took minimal effort. So far, I like the way that it applies. It's just a regular serum. So, I will tell you guys in an updated... I think I'm going to do like a... Just a straight up skincare video. And I'll let y'all know if I like it then. Now, I've been following all the like... Um, what's it called? esthetician tiktokers and they say that you should have a skincare cycle so that basically means that some days you focus on um barrier building and other days you focus on clearing your skin with like retinols and treatments and things like that last night i had a retinol night so today i'm gonna have a barrier building night but still want to show you guys the run all that I use. I use the one from The Ordinary and I like it. When they say use a pea size amount of this, use a pea size amount. I literally put a droplet on my middle finger, go like this, and I put two dots on my face and I blend it in. That's all you use. And I do this like three times out of the week maybe. Do not do that every night. Okay. So since um, today is a barrier building night i'm going to be using faded by topicals um i'm like halfway done with this container i know for sure that this clears up dark spots because i've used this faithfully on my bikini area and it got my girl all the way together i've also been putting it on my scars so I had a scar right here that has faded really well and a scar right here that has faded really well because of this. I use this all over my body and I love her. I was scared to use it on my face because at first it did make me break out. But um, now my skin is used to it so now I'm able to use it. I'm able to use this every night if I wanted to. Now that that is absorbed I'm going to use this brightening cream from Laneige. This is their Radiance Cream. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm almost completely out of this product. And I haven't seen any brightening effects in my skin. I will not be repurchasing this. I love Laneige. But Laneige, you are too expensive for me to not see immediate results and i don't mean immediate but like i'm almost done with the whole product so like when you want to start working like when am i going to start seeing results please let me know so yeah make sure to bring everything down to your neck and that is basically done i'm going to use this nivea lip moisturizer this is actually my boyfriend's he should have never left this because now it's mine and it's going to be gone because I love how it's moisturizing but it doesn't have like a shine to it. So it's real good for using like in the morning and at night when, you know, I don't want shine. I just want moisture. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm super excited to be back vlogging. Hopefully I stay consistent this time. Fingers crossed. Um, if you have any questions about my skincare order, products anything just comment down below y'all know i'm very active in the comments um and stay tuned to my detailed skincare routine video that's gonna come out soon so yeah make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos make sure that you follow me on all my social medias and i will see y'all in the next video bye mamas yeah 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 yeah